When you work with Magic XPI's Google Calendar or Google Drive components, you need to configure the OAuth 2.0 authorization flow. Today, I'm going to show you exactly how to do just that. First, a bit of background. Each request sent to Google has to be identified with an appropriate API. So, for this to happen, you need to enable the APIs on the Magic side, which is the client side, as well as on the Google side, which is the server side. Let's go through this procedure now. In the Magic XPI Studio, I'll create a new Google resource. I click the APIs button and I select at least one API from the list. Now, I'll open the Google Developers Console and log in. I'll start by creating a new project. In this example, I'll call the project Magic XPI. In the popular API screen, look for the Google Apps API section. Here, you should select either Drive API or Calendar API, depending on which API you're using. In Magic XPI, I selected Calendar API, so that's what I'll choose here. Then I click Enable. In the sidebar on the left, I click Credentials. Then I click the OAuth Consent Screen tab. I select my email address here. And in the product name shown to users parameter, I'll enter Magic XPI. You can actually enter any name you want here, but bear in mind that this is the name that you'll see on the consent page later on. The other fields are optional. Finally, I click Save. Now, I'll create a client ID. If the Credentials tab didn't open automatically for you, click Credentials in the sidebar on the left. I select OAuth Client ID from the Create Credentials drop-down list. Then I select Other and enter a name for the client ID. and then I click Create. The client ID and the client secret appear on the screen. Then I click the Download JSON button. This saves the newly created JSON file. Back in the Magic XPI Studio, in the Google resource I created earlier, I click the OAuth button. I select the JSON file that I downloaded earlier. And then I click the Auth URL button and a value appears here in the authorization URL parameter. Next, I click the launch button to open the URL. In the consent page, you can see the application name that I defined earlier in the Google Developers Console. I click the Allow button and then I get redirected to a page containing a code. I copy this code and I paste it in the code parameter back in the studio. And then I click OK. I then click the Validate button to verify that the authorization process was successful. I click OK to close the Google Resources window and I can now go ahead and use Magic XPI's Google Connectors. Today I showed you how to configure the OAuth 2.0 authorization flow. I hope you'll join me again soon for some more magic.